So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you will know very well that I am not the Stealth King. In fact, my stealth skills sometimes suck. Although they can be highly amusing, but um, yeah, they're not the best. I'm not the best stealth player in the world. But anyway, we're playing Star Wars Outlaws and it needs stealth. So I've picked up a few tips that I want to share with you today. Should be good. Let's do it. So I know a lot of you that started playing this game um, maybe have played other games that don't require stealth like me and um, you're finding the stealth system a little bit hard to uh, to get your head around. So let's see if we can give you some tips. So if you come into a restricted area um, or an area where you're not aligned with the faction, you're going to get um, told to go away very quickly. They're going to get a bit upset with you and go, you know, go away, go away know that there is always 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 going to be a stealthy option for you to access that area so you just need to do a little bit of looking around you'll find a vent or something somewhere getting in um, and that's your first should be your first objective is just to have a good look around and see if you can find the uh, the stealthy way or the quiet way to get into the restricted area you need to get into so one of the other things that is extremely important and will get you much further into a specific area, although it, it won't help you that much in a restricted area, but it will let, get you a lot closer to your restricted area, is your reputation. Um, your reputation, if you can have it good with the different factions, then these guys here, as soon as you walk up to them, you'll say, get out, get out, and you'll walk straight past them. So that, this is in the Crimson Dawn area, and you can see my reputation is good with Crimson Dawn, so I can just walk straight in now. Another thing to understand is that um, the only guys that are going to kick up a stink in a restricted area are these guys. If you if you walk up to other people like these people at the bar, they're not going to alert... They're not going to raise an alert. So these guys are the only guys that are going to raise an alert. The guys with the weapons. Um, so that's a very important thing to understand. And you can see I can get quite far into this area without anybody um, actually tackling me or questioning me. Even you know, I'm going to stand right next to this guy. So you can see the restricted area is over there. And that's where you're actually going to run into problems. So you've come to a restricted area and we're, we're going to um, ramp things up a little bit now because we're going to go to an Empire uh, base and play around in there now. Um, you come to a restricted area and there's a few things that you can do and one of the things you can do and a lot of people, not a lot of people talking about this is use the photo mode to your advantage. Now you do have a scan pulse and I'll cover the scan pulse in a minute but uh, one of the things you can actually do is pull it uh, activate the photo mode and it has a limited range but it will actually allow you to have a good look around the immediate area and identify where the enemies are and it will also let you identify possibly where there's your sneaky little entrance into a base so you have um, you've made it into the base. You find your little sneaky uh, way in, uh, but you don't know. Again, you don't know what's in front of you. Use your scan pass. For me on Xbox, it's up on the D-pad. But use your scan pass to figure out before you even open a vent what's actually in front of you and how many enemies potentially might be in the next area and be constantly doing this because it will help you at no end uh, to stop getting into trouble and to get into places very very quickly and very quietly so one last tool that you might find useful when we're talking about scanning um, use your binoculars so what you have to do is press left on your d-pad and it'll bring up the binoculars. Uh, for me, it's once I've pressed left, it's Y. And then I can scan the whole area and I can actually mark um, enemies and figure out which ones I want to take out first and what's the best strategy to, um, to get around them or get rid of them. So once you're into the restricted area, one thing that you should be looking for is, um, is alarms. Now that alarms, depending on what where where you're going and what uh, faction you're coming up against, um, you will you can just uh, disable or sabotage the normal alarms and that'll fix things up. The other thing that you've got to to be aware of, especially with the Empire, is the officers will have alarms 
on them. So you need to steal their alarms. And this is where Nix comes into play. And he, uh, he will help you at no end. So here we go. I'm going to show you in real time how this works. So here's an officer down here. You can see now you need to use the steal um, prompt. And that is what the officers look like, the Empire officers. They're quite differently dressed. And we're going to send Nix out to him. And we're going to steal what he's got. And you'll see very quickly there's a prompt. Um, fairly quickly when he comes back, you see personal comm link. That's what you want. You can also send uh, Nick of, Nix, of course, to, to disable alarms as well. So just I didn't mention that earlier. Um, Nix is a very, very useful tool when you are using stealth. So what happens G4 if it all kind of goes wrong and the alarms are sounded and I'm in trouble and the enemies hitting me up and I've, the wanted symbols come up and I haven't disabled all alarms. Well you can, uh, as you can see here, you can just go up to an alarm and switch it off once you've dealt with the immediate enemies the second thing you can do of course is like you can in assassin's creed you can just run away and hide and just wait until the uh, until they stop looking for you so there's two options there the third option is of course to get rid of your wanted level if you can find a terminal that will allow you to do that you can also do that but those are very very hard to find so i'd uh, i'd suggest you either switch the alarm off when you can or you just run and hide so anything that's electronic, cameras, bots, anything that's electronic, you can actually take out using your the ion part of your blaster. Now, uh, this is kind of a little bit risky, um, depending on how you do it and where you do it, because it can alert other people to your presence. But um, you can also use this as a stun gun if you need to but you do as i say risk having the wanted system activated and then you could run and hide or you know have some kind of way of getting away and um stopping that wanted system from um uh, triggering alarms but it is a legitimate strategy for you to get out of trouble now one of the old tricks that comes from the Assassin's Creed games is uh, using your whistle. Now to activate your whistle just use the right part of your d-pad which calls in your speeder and um, this will allow um, enemies to come to you. Now if you've already killed enemies and he can and the person can see them then it's going to alert them and you might have to take um, action um, but under normal circumstances if you're in bushes or something and you whistle they'll come straight to you wait for the prompt and you can take them down nice and stealthily and um, then move on now as you saw there and it's very important point is uh, Nix can actually do his face hugging attack you can send him out to do attack just make sure you're reasonably close to the uh, to the person you're attacking because the attack only lasts for a little bit of time and if you don't help him uh, immobilize the enemy then the attack will finish and they may raise the alarm so you need to do this in conjunction with Nix he will do the attack and then you come in and finish the person off so my very last tip is just to take your time be patient take your time use all the different tips that we've given you in this video to your advantage when it's appropriate figure out patterns of people and where they're walking and when they're walking and get your timings right but just be very patient this is probably why I'm a little bit um, lacking in the stealth department because yeah I, 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 at times I just won't sit in a corner for five minutes that's needed just to wait for uh, wait for somebody to come next to me and, and hit them and take them down so take your time enjoy the game and um, you will be you'll find it so much easier just to get through these restricted areas in this stealth part of the game so there you go ladies and gentlemen there's all my tips to being a better stealthy player in star wars outlaws yeah, i put these videos out the intention of helping gamers have a better gaming experience so i hope it helped if it did let me know down in the comments a like rating is always appreciated it really does help the channel grow and uh, it helps me put these videos out and keeps it viable and we'll catch you next time on gaming for xp we'll see ya